Hello, friends. We are back, and guess what we're doing today? We are doing math. We see all the numbers. We see everything right here, right? All right, you know what? I'm going to do a little trick real quick. I'm going to make this paper disappear real quick. You ready? Three, two, one. We have a new paper here. We're doing addition, and we have some big numbers. Do you guys see the numbers right here onto the side? Those are not the answers to eat to this problem, not the ones next to them. We're, we're going to do that right now, okay? So we have 21 plus 7. Now, I want to look through these, and I want you guys to tell me which one of these is the correct answer to 21 plus 7. Is it 35? Is it 28? Good job! So we put an arrow from 28 to 21 plus 7, because 21 plus 7 equals 28. Now we know that 28 does not equal to any of these last problems we have. So let's go to the next one. 17 plus 13. Hmm. Let's see. Is it 35? Is it 20? Oh, we can't do 28. Is it 40? Or is it 30? Let's see. 17 plus 13. I think it equals 30. What do you guys think? Right? Okay, let's let's draw an arrow from 30 to 17 plus 13. There we go. 17 plus 13 equals 30. Now we're getting into bigger numbers. We have here 20 plus 15. Now we only have two numbers left. So what could be 20 plus 15? Is it 40? I don't think so. Or is it 35? <gasps> mm, what do you think? 35 or 40? I think it's 40. I'm going to draw an arrow from 40 to... Wait. Wait, wait. It's not 20 plus 15? Is... Oh, it's 35. I'm sorry. There we go. I drew the arrow from 35 to 20 plus 15. Now, 33 plus 7. We only have one number left. We already did 30 because 30 equals to 17 plus 13, 28, 21 plus 7, and 35, 20 plus 15. So the only thing we're left with is 40. That's kind of an easy one. But 33 plus 7 equals 40. Now since everybody did such a good job, we're going to get a big star on our paper. You ready? There we go. Good job, friends, and I will see you later.